Hey devs, you are listening to Bilal Amjad and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look towards the Hello World application development of Windows Universal Application Projects. Why this project is known as Universal Application Project is pretty cool. Microsoft now allows you to create a one code base, create a one single project, but it will be supported on all Microsoft devices which are supporting Windows. That's why these are known as Windows Universal Application Projects. So, prior moving towards the development of application, I assume that you have set up your Visual Studio 15 for the development of UAP projects. Just go to File menu, choose New, go to New Project, and here are the some and here are some predefined and pre-installed templates available for you. I have selected Universal, then I am selecting Blank App for Universal Windows. Now, now give a name to your project. It can be anything. I am saying that uh, XYZ project and I am entering so that Visual Studio can create a project for me. Within no time, Visual Studio will create a universal application blank project for you. Here are some files and folder you can see with the name assets assets folder is used to add all the uh, images and font files or anything which you want to import in your application is uh, contained in this assets folder so uh, the very first page which is loaded on your screen after running a windows application is main page uh, in the later session, we'll see the how we can change our our default landing page. Uh, but for now, we are working on main page. Here is a drop down which have different options for you. If you are developing it for a tablet, you have a tablet option. And if you are developing phone, here is a different font sizes. Here is desktop. Here is Xbox, Surface Hub, IoT devices. Now, this is the op these are the options which are telling you that your application is going to run on these many devices. Here is the XAML part where you can see a grid. This grid is expanded to uh, is vertically and horizontally stretched inside your application. I'm changing the size for the desktop uh, environment and I'm adding a stack panel layout control. We'll look toward the layout control in our later sessions. But for now, just see how I'm adding stack panel. Uh, it has some alignment option. Every XAML control have alignment option, which is horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. So now you will see that my stack panel will appear on the center of the screen. What stack panel does is it does it do maintains the stack of controls one by one one by one it has orientation horizontal and vertical it can maintain line by line or it can maintain controls one after another so we have no concern with orientation for now i'm adding a text block which will say hello world and I am going to apply a style, a predefined style, which is available in uh, Windows application. I'm saying that the header style, and I'm just added a hello world control, a oh, hello world text block control. Now I'm going to add a text box, and I'm going to assign its ID so that I can access it in my code behind file. I say that its name is my text, and its placeholder property actually gives the hint to the user. I say type something all right now I add a, I'm going to add a button this button have a content property uh, which will display the content on the button I say click going to center align with them all right sorry okay 
now what i'm going to do i'm going to build this project so here is here are the different options which you uh, for building the project you can build this on a simulator you can build it on a remote machine on a device on mobile emulators i'm going to build on my local machine within some time windows uh, visual studio will build your project and will display the output on your screen as you can see the my screen here is the application which we have developed now you can see that these applications are responsive now this is the placeholder type something this is the text block and this is a button but this button is doing nothing what if you want to add an event handle so that some when someone click this button should perform some functionality so we can add uh, event handler like by adding a click event handler and i say that uh, i'm going to add functionality to this button you can go to the definition of the button click event handler by pressing f12 or just right click uh, and go to the definition or open your main page.xaml.cs file here you will find the definition of that method I'm going to say that we will msv is equal to new message dialog and this is the name uh, this is the class which displays messages in a dialog form on your application but for that you need to add a namespace using windows.ui.popups and I have added it now now what you have to do is inside the round brackets I'm going to access the text box text which someone will type inside the text box and I'm going to assign a title to the message box and I say that show async that when someone click this button show whatever written in message dialog let's see the output so here is how you can uh, extract the output from a text box and display in a message dialog using a click event handler one interesting thing that all the controls in windows application are also responsive and the example is for example i write a, a lengthy string a quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog so you can see that text box have expanded itself according to the string that's why they are known as responsive controls as well you can see that all right so the layouts are also responsive in windows now uh, let me change the size to a font so that i can see how it will look like on font so you can see that it have adjusted it according to the 5 inch font device so this is how you can create a simple application a hardware application in windows 10 uh, for as a UAP project. So if you have any kind of question, just log on to bilanamja.net or just email me. My contact information are, have been shared in the description of this video. Thank you for watching my video and happy coding.